Hi there, I'm Dan Young, founder of Performance Food Centers, a division of Simple Again. Today we're going to talk about the efficiencies of your juice bar. If you're going to be serving your customers, you want to have a very efficient juice bar. In most situations, we would prefer your juice bar being on the front counter because every time you turn away, you'd be breaking your, your connection with your customer. You want to have a conversation with your customer the entire time you're making their shake. We have our juice bar now on the front counter and in the center of my universe is what? It's our blender. You are to be nailed right here to the floor so that your hands can touch everything you need to make a shake. You've got your proteins to the right, you've got your whole food ingredients. In many cases, your whole food ingredients should be displayed. We like those put on a shelf real close to your blender or on your countertop right next to your blender because people uh, need to see the product. And once they see it, they'll realize you're a Whole Foods juice bar. If you don't have that ability to do that, you can see we've got these neatly tucked behind our proteins. And then right in here, neatly tucked right here, I've got my extracts and I've got my agave and my honey, which is all right here as well. You've got your flavorings to the left. You've got all of your supplements. You've got your refrigeration below the counter. I've got my rinse sink right behind me. I've got my ice maker. Some of you folks might have an ice bin right in your countertop uh, or an ice bin on wheels. My thought would be to always have your ice within arm's reach wherever that is and without bending down would be ideal. I can actually reach and grab everything I need without ever moving my feet. This is really where you need to be as well. So thanks again and uh, we'll catch you next time.